Welcome in to Let's Be Honest. I'm your host, Kristen Cavallari, and I am here in Chicago Woo! with one of my best friends, Stephanie Beagle, a.k.a. Beags. This is my Chicago Hi. dance. Hi. Hi, babe. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. This is this makes me so happy. So, okay, told you guys Beags was going to come on the podcast. Everyone was very excited. Thank God. And the people had a lot of questions. They did. So you want to know what the number one question was? Yeah, of course. Obviously. How we met. Obviously, I think there's a group of people that know how we met. And totally. a lot of people are familiar with you from Very Cavallari. But there's a big chunk that aren't. So I think we should start with how we met. It's like the best. I mean, I know it's we're biased. Story. but it's really, Did you want to tell it? <laughs> well, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you always make me tell it. Because you, yeah. Well, your okay, version is much fine, better. Fine, fine, fine. Well, you can add commentary if you want. I'll give color. I graduated college. You were like 12. No, like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm close. I'm like two years younger I know, than but like, you. you know, when someone's like 20 and you're like 22, yes. it like felt like a really big difference. Yes. But I graduated college, moved to LA and worked at UTA. And you were a- Big agency. Big agency, talent yeah. agency. You were a client. So like I would wave at you. I worked in the reality television department. I was an assistant. It was like the worst <laughs> job. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. If you watch Entourage, that was me. Yeah. I was Lloyd. Yeah, literally you were Lloyd. I was Lloyd. Yeah. And- we became like, we were friendly there, yeah. but then I went to that company, Platinum Rye, and they had a Victoria's Secret showroom where they would give celebs like free bras and underwear. Yeah, so like there are these gifting places that as, you know, someone of notoriety, you can that go was in. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. You can go in and get free shit, essentially. Totally. So you guys had good stuff in there, and we Victoria's had, Secret was one of them. One of them, and we also <laughs> shared offices with Finger, remember we like yes. had other things there. But anyways, somehow I was in charge of when celebs would come in, or ladies and men of notoriety, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> ladies um and they would come in and like literally you could take whatever you wanted yes. but people would always be like can i try it on i'm like you don't need to try it on bras, bras like, yeah. and underwear and underwear like which is, actually it's really kind of, gross underwear is kind of weird you didn't try on the underwear I but you essentially tried on bras show me your boobs and i'm like they're really Just nice boobs took, my shirt off. took your shirt off and that was pretty boob job too they so. were i still thought Thank they were you. beautiful you. you're welcome <laughs> so you took off your shirt show me your boobs and we were best friends ever that since that was it and we also lived on the same street Correct. in Larchmont on Rossmore. Cutest. So yeah, we would start, we hung out a lot. We did. We part, I mean, like we, we went out, partied. Yeah. partied. And then like you would come over, I'd be like in bed eating ice cream. I always think of you and Bardo, like- My Yorkie. Your little Yorkie running around and you were like eating yeah. ice cream hung over in bed. All the time. That but was my life. But it was like the foundation of, I would say- Absolutely. A really great friendship. It was. So, but then you moved back to Highland Park, Illinois. Yeah, that's so-, so you're from here. <laughs> And my mom lived in Barrington. Yep. So I would be visiting all the time. And when I would come, you and I would get lunch or like we would always made a point to see each other. Yep. And then I was visiting August of 2010. I don't know how you remember. I can't, I don't well, know what I, I did know, yesterday. Because that was when I met my ex-husband. Okay, fair, fair, fair. So we all, we went to dinner, you, me and my mom, yep. the night before had a night. And the next night is when I went to the Bears game and I met my ex-husband. So then that's when we became really close because I was obviously dating Jay. I was here a lot more. Yep. And then when I moved here, you were the only person that I knew really. So we hung out all the time and that's when we became just like, like the, and we were like, we were a little bit more mature. Yeah. And we did like other activities well, other I than drinking. Mom, yeah, you now. were a mom. <laughs> yeah. But I also think about people should know that you took me, which, cause we're going to talk about dating. You took me on your first date. Oh wait, we should which tell is, this story Which actually. is like so ridiculous. <laughs> like the fact that you were like, wait, let's tell this fine. story. Okay. I wasn't this one, planning this one, this, this, this one great. you tell okay, cause it's so good. Okay. 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 So Okay, so how did this go down? So I was in town, I think it was like a Friday through a Monday, Correct. let's say. And I was staying with my mom in Barrington and we went to dinner Friday night. Great. I met Jay Saturday night and he, I was with my mom and my cousin and he drove us to our car after the game. Which is, I believe on a Sunday, but that was cute. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, right. Because football. No, but it was preseason. Does that matter? I don't think so, but this is cute. This Either is way. cute. Saturday or I Sunday. I here until Tuesday. Great. Okay. 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 So anyways. So, um, so then he was like, let me know when you're back in town or something. And I was like, well, I'm actually here until Tuesday. And I said, if you want to get a drink, I'm going to get dinner with my friend in the city. And then we could all get a drink after I said, we could all get a drink after I don't. So I, in my head, I'm going great. We'll go to dinner, you and me. And then you'll come with me to go get a drink with Jay. I think that the only cute part was you didn't tell me or him, I feel like that you're, you no, we went to dinner and we had a, a like a craft of wine, which like I also like <laughs> I was don't, so nervous. We were, it was a Monday night and you're like, okay. And, and next you're coming on, you're, the, coming, like, you're coming with Mercadito, me. Mercadito. 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 So we're sitting date. there and Jay walks in and is like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> why is her friend Why did you bring a chaperone? You a chaperone with you? But he called in, he called in a friend. Yep. Phoned a friend. Phoned a friend who, who came like, immediately. Because they lived very close yeah. and he ran over and like, then we were on the like a of us double a date. We were on a double date. Oh my God. And the rest is history, which like maybe that was the beginning <laughs> of the end. Yeah, you took me on your first date. I did. I be, Okay, so this is the first time in my life, the last four years that I've really dated. Like pre-marriage, Fair. I didn't go on a lot of dates. They used to make me so nervous. I feel like it's a muscle I've had to develop in the last few years. And you've gotten really good no, at I'm it. I'm a professional yeah. at it. A professional. <laughs> a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. But um, yeah, I used to get really nervous. So I think like my out was like, you're coming. Like we're sure. gonna do like a group drink. You're thing. coming and we're gonna drink like a shit ton before you go on your yeah, date. Yeah, because that was smart. And then we started taking tequila shots immediately. Correct, within like two minutes. I don't even remember really and the, that and, night. And I don't either. So thank you so much. So that's exciting. Great. So on the note of dating, so. <laughs> yeah. Perfect transition. Yeah, great. Okay, so how this episode came to be is, I mean, you guys know if you listen to this podcast regularly, I've gone on a lot of dates. I really have given, given dating 110%. And I'm really over it, but I've been in this frustrated mode because I feel like when you're single and you're like the only single person, the only thing that people ever want to talk to you about is who you're dating. Or why you're single. Or why you're single. And so I was really frustrated. I actually sent you a voice note and I was like, hey, I have a crazy idea. What if you came on the podcast? And we talked about this because you're someone who really understands it. And I really look at you as such an inspiration because you didn't settle, you waited, you have the most amazing husband and now you're pregnant, which congratulations. Thank you so much. And so you in this current phase of my life are my inspiration and I'm not gonna settle. And I just think you understand those conversations more than anybody. So I think we can talk about the, the frustrating aspect of it too, but we can also talk about how funny it is also. Like we at least can laugh at it. Correct. But like what you shouldn't be asking your single friends. Right. And also I think you said it, but like not settling. Like I always tell yeah. people, settle on what you're ordering in for dinner. Settle yes. on what like your fucking haircut is. Yeah. But like don't settle on the person that you're gonna spend the rest of your life I with. Know. Like I know. life is hard. Like maybe maybe don't settle on that. Like <laughs> that one don't really, on that really important thing. Ugh. But babe, like I was single <laughs> And like, I mean, single and alone, but like not alone, yeah. right? For forever. Yeah. And it, it's a journey and it's like a roller coaster. How many years were you single essentially? Off and on for, I mean, we talk about building penis pipelines, yeah. right? <laughs> like, I mean, like men came in and out, yes. but like I-, I like, You didn't have anyone like, ser- I think I met like one boyfriend. Correct. Like my, my my mom says it to me all the time. She was like, you didn't bring anyone. Like I had a couple boyfriends, yeah. but I definitely like <clears throat> didn't have anyone of significance for yeah. like eight to 10 years. Yeah. Like yeah. a really, really long time. Well, and it's funny too, because basically our entire friendship, I was married. Correct. And then the second I got a divorce mm-hmm. is when you met David. But like, it's one of the coolest things about our friendship too, is like, <laughs> we like we have not been on parallel paths. Like no. literally we're just like, I'm like, yeah, we're going to be single together. It's like, just kidding. And I, and I met someone, but yeah. like, you're totally right. Like you were, you had met someone, you were married, you had, you were like pushing out like 17 different kids, right? Like yes. so many babies. Yes. And I was just like, doing my thing, yeah. right? Well, you weren't settling. It was not settling. And also like, I think what's also so inspiring about you is like this whole idea of like, fuck society's timeline because you were 37 when you met David? Yeah. Is that right? Like, I'm really bad at math today, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, pregnancy just brain. pregnancy brain, sure. But like, we were together for, yes, four years. I'm turning 40, so like maybe 36. Okay, 36, that's 36. right, 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 yes. during COVID. Okay, COVID. Yeah. Right, so I think that that is very cool too. And that just says a lot that like, your life is not over in your late 30s, for example. Correct. Like, I talk about all the time, and you and I I've always speak about this. I always say like, I love, and maybe it's because of, it's what happened to me, but like the fact that I met someone later in life, like it wasn't my choice. We can only control what we can control, right? But like, I knew myself, I knew what I wanted. And I met someone at a time that I was like, like self-love, self like connection, self-awareness. Like I met someone who was on the same like playing field as me because I knew what I wanted, right? Like I think about who I would have met at 26 or 29 or who I did meet. And I think it is hard. The narrative is like the clock and like, time running out, like what the fuck does that mean? I know, and it makes like, I feel like the conversations that people have are like, well, why can't you meet someone? Like what, like something is wrong wrong with with you. you. And it's like, 
why is that the conversation instead of like, good for you for not totally. settling? Cause like, by the way, you could have been in a relationship. I could be in a relationship course, if I wanted to be. Tomorrow. It's, yeah, literally. It's because we don't want to be, because again, we're not settling. Totally. Why isn't that praised more instead it's like, of- It's pity. People look at you and they feel <gasps> like uncomfortable. Oh, and like, part. I'm like, I'm good. Like I, I know. sometimes I want to turn around and be like, why did you settle? Right? Exactly. Like, 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 like are, are you, you happy? happy? <laughs> Cause like, like truly like it's, I know. it's wild, but it really is a thing because it's like societal norms have changed, but it is like people got married young. They had yeah. kids young and yes, biologically, I understand for women, like for men, it's like you're 40 and alone, like fuck yeah. But like for women, it's different. And I do think it's a little scary in that way, but still it's like, what if you're just like one of the most important relationships is a relationship with yourself and getting to know yes. like what matters to you, what are your values? Like how fucking cool is it? I'm sorry, I swear as much, but I can't help it. So how the, fucking cool company. is it to like meet someone at a time <laughs> when you're like authentic and connected and confident? Yep. Like think about the energy and the magnetism of that. Like you're exactly. probably gonna meet someone better at that point. Well, you said, wait, this is what you said to oh, me I when, love when we you were talking about me. This. I love when you quote I, me. I'm gonna Thank quote you. you. <laughs> Self-love calls in the right love. Yeah. That resonates with me so much. I just think, yeah, to really know yourself, be comfortable in your skin, like you're gonna then attract someone who's on your same wavelength. And to know yourself on a deeper level, have a better understanding of who you are as a person, you're gonna then, because I think life is a mirror. I think all of our relationships are a mirror. 100%. So that person is gonna reflect that back to you. Totally. And that's a really special place to be in. If you're like coming at it from a place of like <clears throat> lack of confidence or insecurity, like I think that's when people settle is they're like, too. and they don't, it's not what you do. It's like, you don't even believe you deserve all the things, right? right? And I think a lot of people are afraid to be alone. I think, I think most people literally can't be alone. We're like, for me, I would consider myself to have been single for the last four years. Like, yeah. yes, I've had like crazy dating things. Totally, and but, I, like, but like overall I've been single and I've learned more about myself. I've had the most growth. And I finally feel like now I know who the fuck I am and I'm in a good place for a relationship. Three years ago, I would have well, I was with the wrong people totally. and I didn't see the red flags. And I still was like in that just like crazy mindset. You, I think you have to be alone in order to really figure out who you are. Like hallelujah, amen, right? right? Like <laughs> I also think it's, it's, <clears throat> it's okay if people stop looking at it and stop pitting you, that right? Sympathy. Like it's uh, the sympathy. It's like, I'm good. Like no. I'm actually, or I'm great. I used to go on alone moons. Like yes, I would you. travel. Tell people about this. I literally would go on these trips. Well, first of all, I was someone who had never, I grew up in a family that was like, you eat meals together. Like togetherness is like, you, you're you you're not quality really, a, time. quality time, right? You're yeah. not really alone. And I hadn't like eaten lunch alone. I ended up, I was supposed to go on a, a trip with like a best friend to St. Bart. So she literally is like one of the most organized humans in the world. And she had her passport sitting out for two weeks, but had never opened it and opened it. And it was expired. And it was like July 4th <laughs> weekend. And she was like, I'm screwed. And I'm like, okay, so I think I'm going alone. I went alone to St. Barts. You were nervous, right? I was so nervous. Yeah. I mean, I literally like had not spent time alone. I had the best five days of my entire life. Amazing. I met like incredible humans. I woke up every day and I was like, what do I want to do? Like, yeah. I still travel alone. Like I cherish alone time yes. and even like finding an amazing partner that like you can still value that alone time. Like totally. is one of the coolest it's not like you're getting into a partnership to lose yourself. It's I still, agree. but like that comes with like age. Not yeah. not to say there aren't people I have friends that met really young in life and like yeah, no, yay, absolutely, I yay for can, them, right? Yes. But I do think mm -hmm. like embracing this idea of and it's a practice, like really spending the time getting to know you, getting to yeah, know like that. That's where the growth comes from, right? All right, guys, listen up. If you have damaged hair, I feel you, and I'm about to introduce you to your new hair repair hero. Introducing the new Kerastase Premier Repairing Pre-Shampoo Treatment. It's a new and unique product that's the very first step when you get in the shower. I actually just learned about this. We all have calcium building up on our hair and it comes from our shower water. This buildup of calcium is amplifying damage, which I know we all have from things like coloring our hair. What's amazing about it is that it actually does two things at once. It removes that calcium buildup while also repairing and reconnecting the broken links between keratin chains. Okay, so here's how you use it. After you wet your hair in the shower, apply the repairing pre-shampoo treatment and let it sit for five minutes and do not rinse. Then layer your shampoo on top 
and finish with the rest of the Premier Collection. I've been using Kerastase for a long time. And when I say long time, I mean like since my teen years, you guys, because the brand is incredibly luxurious and the quality of their products are just so professional. Plus, they really work. The new Premier Collection has become one of my absolute faves and you guys see for yourself. Visit www.kerastase-usa.com and use code HONEST15 for 15% off your purchase. That's www.kerastase-usa.com and use code HONEST15. Standard exclusions apply. Offer valid through 531, 2024. All right, pet owners, let's chat about the farmer's dog, which is dog food that I absolutely love. The results of switching your dog's food from kibble to fresh can seem like magic. When a senior dog starts acting like a puppy again and the pickiest of eaters can't wait for dinner time, you might think that some spells were cast. But the farmer's dog doesn't use any sorcery or secret ingredients to make their fresh food, just science. The farmer's dog makes and delivers fresh, healthy dog food. It's developed by vets, nutritionally balanced and made from real healthy ingredients to human food safety standards. It's the best option for dogs at all life stages because it's not kibble. It's not canned goo. It's just real healthy food. Traditional dry and wet dog food options are highly processed, can use much lower quality ingredients than they claim to, and are extremely difficult to portion accurately. The farmer's dog isn't just fresh, higher quality food. They also send the food pre-portioned specifically for your dog based on their unique nutritional needs. This makes it easy to help your dog maintain their ideal weight, which is one of the biggest indicators of a full, healthy life. Dogs at a healthy weight can live up to two and a half years longer than overweight dogs. A fresh diet has been found to have all sorts of health benefits from healthier coat and skin to better breath, even easier digestion and smaller, better poops. A healthy diet isn't just important for humans. And guys, I can attest to the fact that all three of my dogs go bananas for this food. Kona, my German shepherd, is always drooling as we're getting it ready. My daughter, Sailor, loves to feed the dogs because it's already pre-portioned out. It says their names on it. It just makes the whole process really fun. And you guys, you can get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash honest. Plus, you get free shipping. Just go to thefarmersdog.com slash honest. Go to thefarmersdog.com slash honest to get 50% off your first box plus free shipping. Let's talk about (laughs) everything. Well, yeah, let's talk about everything. So like the conversations that people do have when you're single. I mean, even last night I got a text from, I'd say like friend in quotes, a girl who lives in LA. I've known a long time, but like we don't talk that often. First question, any new boys? It's like... (laughs) Like, why is that the only question that people want to talk to me about? I feel like they don't know what else to like, they don't know what else to say. And I, and we've said this, I don't feel like people have ill intentions. I really don't think there's like malice behind it. No, I do think it's like, um, it's a conversation piece. It's them trying to almost live vicariously through me. Cause like I am having a lot of fun dates right now and like Fair. doing a lot of fun things, but like, it makes me feel like my value is only based on who I'm with or like, Oh, you not how are my kids? Like no. how like I've got like a are you million happy? other like things any, going on. Anything, ask anything, me anything else. Anything. We said I mean I used to get all the time, like you're such a catch while you're alone. And it's like oh, that's the best part. If thank you can't you? if you can't thank meet someone, you? how is the rest of are like, the rest of us? Oh, my favorite one, it only takes one. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> it only it like I don't even oh, like really? I don't I don't even know. Like I think back and I like definitely I didn't get uncomfortable. I would like I think I would laugh in people's faces. I know, I know, I know. It's like what do you say? Because that's the thing, like when people ask me, I don't even want to respond if it's on right. a text or I'm just like, I'm not dating anymore. Like I'm Literally. not going down I mean, you should respond like I have 18 boys or like I have a I lot know. of like toys so I masturbate a lot. Like I'm the dating f- an 18 year old. 100%. <laughs> Let's see what people say. I'm dating an 18 year old and a 50 year old. And like, and just, and like, I'm having a great time. Like, how's it, how's your life? Like, I like I, I just, and you know, what's interesting too, is cause like when you were single for so long, I used to wait for you to bring it up. At least hun- I tried. Totally. Obviously like there were a couple times I'd be like, what's the latest? But like, I knew even then, like, I'm sure you don't want to talk about it well, all the time. Also, it's a conversation filler and then it makes me feel bad. A. Yeah. 
And and you know what I will say, like I had funny things where it's like I went on so dating is <laughs> the worst. <laughs> like it's literally like I think back and I used to go home at night, like probably tipsy, like 17 tequilas after my terrible dates and write like chapters to my book that so never published. I didn't know that you did that. You like, said that earlier and I did not know that. Because babe, like it was because the other thing was I wouldn't want to tell my friends. I wouldn't right. want to call you and be like, I have a date tonight with Joe Schmo because like likely the date was going to suck. I know. Right. And then you were, you're going to ask about Joe Schmo. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about him the ever follow again. Up. The follow-up. So I make the mistake of telling everyone, right. all of my friends, I'm going on a date. Well, you're like, like I'm, in I'm in love. I'm in love. This is what's happening. <laughs> and then everyone's like, what happened? What happened? And right. I'm like, I hate, I'm over, right. I'm Well, hate. also I'm because you literally, like, the, I get so excited about people. We have a group text and it's like my favorite thing in the world because you'll be like, I'm going on a date. And the next morning, like, how are you doing? I'm in love. I mean, like, like I said it two days ago. To you, you did. You like all the time, and then and then the best is the, the my favorite part about you is you're in love, and then you are equally out of love. I you're hate in hate. You. You're in hate. Like, like twenty four hours later. We have but like when I've gone on a couple of dates, and I'm like, no, I like him. Like yeah. you're like you're not doing your usual. I love you. Like what's going are on? Are you like, okay? No, I'm just like just like taking this one slow. But you jump in, and like I love that about I'm you, and in. like that's. That's Mall, zero right, to six, zero to like zero to four hundred, like Literally. really, really fast. <laughs> but yeah, love. Like I remember, like I remember, you have been in love with people, and I like had it. My my now husband had it told me, and I'm like, she's in love like eight times <laughs> in the span of like me actually like thinking I'm in love with my husband, but like he won't tell me. But Cap's fallen in love like forty six times. It's fine. <laughs> How about the first time David met me? I oh yeah, was you were in love, guy and I was in love. You were in love, making out with him the whole night. And for the record, I think I went home and like got in a fight with David, and I was like, <gasps> do you love me? Like, because like. <laughs> I'm like, I love you, I like, love you. Yeah, I'm like, use your words, like love, like words of affirmation is one of my love languages. They happen to be all of them, but like words of affirmation. Oh my God. Yeah, you have every, every, every single one. <laughs> Except for actually David's is quality time. And, and that's like, the only way you don't give a shit I'm about. like, yeah, like quality time sort of like intrinsic, like it will happen. Like, Which is funny because that's how your family was. Totally. Maybe like, that's why you have. But now I've realized I reaction. like quality time oh, you do. too, but it's like. You have every single because I have all love of them. language. What's yours? I'm words of affirmation. Like all day long. Oh, like nothing even comes But you also close. like physical touch. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't we all? <laughs> but like, right, like it's a funny. Don't or we like, all like physical touch? I don't know. No, some know, people, you know, some people, right, don't. people don't. Like I love physical if touch. If I like someone, yes, I want to be like all right all up in them but like <laughs> people often mistake with the love i like brought this i bring it up like ever it's like hi how are you do what's, what's your, your love, love language, language? <laughs> people do zodiac sign i'm like no that's like <laughs> yeah, so yeah, like yeah. last year but like love languages are funny because if someone like david's is quality time and he exerts love like he pushes quality time on me i'm like dude right. like you're just not listening like oh. mine is all the other four like so you have to learn how to speak the other person's love language otherwise correct. it doesn't resonate correct just yeah. like, you know, tips for just yeah for, for the, the people. I love when people are like, she's divorced. What she can't give tips on relationships. People like, say that? Yeah, people have. Well, if you go read the comments. <laughs> Like, okay, well, or like she she shouldn't be giving dating advice. I'm like, but I'm actively dating. See, I think like, <laughs> also, aren't I a better person for dating advice? Cause I am dating and I have been married. And again, I could be in a relationship if I wanted to be. You could, babe. <laughs> I also think like, this is weird. I wouldn't say like, I would, I was seeking men who are divorced, but I actually think one of the most powerful and like brave things to do is go through something like that. I agree. It makes so you stronger. My husband was married yes. before and he like is way more self-connected knows what he wants makes you stronger so i actually like i think you should be the one giving dating advice Thank because you. you've been through it yeah and you've also fought for what matters most and you yep. come out the other side like stronger so so i agree with you i think divorce you're like people, i am really awesome i am yeah. good at this <laughs> <laughs> i agree though i think when you've been through a divorce because you've had to work at something really fucking totally. hard and make the decision to get out of it yeah. like how many people we talk about settling people settle to get married, but they also settle in their relationships. Oh, I think so many people All are the unhappily time. married. Right? So many people. And it actually breaks my heart. I think most people are. And I know that's so sad. But like, what do you do? Like, we <clears> talk <throat> about this all the time, but like, when we talk about doing the work or like being connected to self, like, it sounds a little woo and a little dorky, but like, I think back to, <laughs> like, I'm not telling everyone to go do this, but. <laughs> I like remember like doing like a ceremony where I like burn shit and like wrote shit yes. down and was like calling in my husband. Like I'm, I had a list of 18 things that I was looking for in a man. Oh, okay. And I what, talked like, name about a couple of those. Like drive or um, okay. someone who loves his family or someone yep. who wanted a family. Like, but there was 18 of them. And I talked about this at my wedding. David probably only had like six to seven. Okay, yes. This is a great conversation. Yeah. Because the reality is, is like 
I I don't believe in settling, but I don't believe in seeking like perfection because like I I'm not perfect. Exists. I don't think it exists, yeah. right? He's not perfect. But what I realized was like of the six or seven, maybe he has eight, but probably six or seven, <laughs> he has the ones that matter. Right. Or, like I was spending so much time like writing out and manifesting and calling in and like, yeah. I did it all because I was like, yeah, put myself everything. out there, I would try everything. Um, And I was spending the time thinking about what mattered to me. Right. But like, I do laugh because it's like, we spend so much time in that time that we're alone, mm -hmm. right? Thinking about, or like fantasizing or like calling in this perfect partner, this dream man, this dream man or woman, whatever it is. Yeah. And I just laugh because he was everything I needed. Right, right. Well, and like you've said, so like David owns Sluggers, which is the most iconic bar in Chicago, I would say. Definitely wasn't on my list of 18. Owning a bar, <laughs> maybe not at the top of your list. No. You know, it's like, right. but but to your point, I mean, he's such a great guy that you he have to, yeah. you're gonna have to let go, I think of a lot of these things. I mean, it's kind of like what I'm going through right now. Cause same thing, like I'm writing down every little fucking thing. And like, totally. depending on who you talk to about manifesting, people will say you even need to write cons because it balances it out. Like, right. it's like it's so many things you need to be so specific. You have to draw like, out their penis. No, I'm like, <laughs> what does it look like? I mean, yeah. I'm kidding, could you? Like, how do they take their coffee in the morning? Like, it's like, Jesus Christ, right. how many little Imagine, fucking things. Imagine like how they touch you. I'm like, what? I what does that mean? So many details. But I did it, but I totally did it. So. Right. Well, and I yeah. am too. Right. But yeah, I think like they, it doesn't always come in the package that we think it's going to. And so I think like, yes, it's good to manifest and do all these things, but then like let it go and allow the universe to just like bring you what you actually do need. For sure. And I love that <laughs> you, like you've called in each year. It's like joy or fun yeah. or it's a like- A word for the year. A word for the year. I love that. But I also think it's like, we can only control certain things in yeah. life, like very little, right? It's true. But like you can control what you're calling. I still think about like, I mean, energy attracts energy, like mm -hmm. the, the magnetism of like when you're in a good place and like you know what you want and you're leaning into that, like magic happens. I agree. Right? Well, and I think when you're in that good place and you have that self-love, like the shift for me was I'm not going to put up with bullshit anymore. Correct. I am- your self-worth. Like, yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. Your self-worth because things that I even put up with three years ago, like even after my divorce, I would never Isn't that wild? ever date those people that I dated then today. So I just think that's why it's the most important thing is to love yourself so that you can demand that kind of respect from a man or whoever, your partner. Totally. I think that's a really <laughs> hard thing for people though. Like, cause you sit it in is. it, it's like, I make it sound a lot easier. Like there was dark, there was moments of like, yeah. I'm like, I'm lonely. Totally. Or I would fill the void with like everything else. Right. Yeah. And dating is like, I mean, we can laugh at it, but like writing those chapters of this book that I'll never publish. Do you still have it? For sure. Has David seen it? Definitely not. I um, want to see it. <laughs> definitely not. I mean, I like, I think about babe, like we have, like I would probably call you and tell you, I definitely didn't tell you about the, like the, the good dates as much. Cause I'm, I'm like, that yeah. I would jinx it, but I would definitely tell you about the bad dates. Like yeah. I thought about the other day, I um, went on okay, a date. Tell me, tell me I the have story. To, I have to tell you. Okay. Like, there's so many of them, but this snippet I remember the most. There was a guy I went out with. It was definitely an app. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you were on all I the was apps? on all of them. Yeah. Okay. Like, truly. And you were like an active date. I had like, a Google I document. Yeah. I had a amazing. fucking Google document yeah, like, that was like Michigan. Like, he has brown hair, blue eyes. Like, because, oh babe, I would go out with them and I'm like, who are you again? Yeah. I would go on double headers. I'm like, well, how did you pull that? I would off? be like five o'clock, like holy shit, like a drink before. A drink before. And then, what if like, you liked the guy that you were drinking with? It's a great with? question. It clearly it never happened. Like <laughs> so it no. a dinner. That and I think about all the time. Do you do dinner or drinks? I like drinks because I don't want to be stuck at dinner with you if I don't like you. Okay, so I'm the opposite because I like dinner because it has an end. It has an expiration. Oh, that's so I would smart. go on these. I would go on these dates. I remember them vividly because like. Anyone with like emotional intelligence would remember and like understand, I'd be like, okay, I have one drink. And then they would have one drink. And I'm like, okay, right. I'm done. And they're like, I'm gonna have another. I'm like, okay, like, okay, do I, I need that. to wear a shirt that says like, I'm over, I hate you. I know. And like, but babe, so like, that was my thing with drinks. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't they think, hang out I don't think there is a right answer. Yeah. Or like they were getting drunk. I'm like, this is, is this fun? Cause oh like, my God, I know. like, do I leave them? Like people be like, leave them. Okay. Anyways, leave so, them. Leave them. Like, I don't I'm going to go, but right? like, be, oh like I mean the, the bathroom emergencies, I've, I did it all. But there was one, one dinner I went to and the guy, like, I feel like 
I know right away. Like immediately. 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 And it's not from a vein perspective, but no. like you have a connection or you don't. Exactly. Like maybe someone grow like no. No. Like just no. Thank you for saying no. this. <laughs> you know, you're my only friend, really. May I've got two friends that are like You're like just two. Just two. Yeah. Well, I only have two friends. Period. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Period. <laughs> but like, cause a lot of my girlfriends are like, like, give him another chance. You should you should give him another yeah. chance. I'm like, no, no I'm not attracted to him. Right. Or like, I think about like right away. Like, is there a can like, yes. Do maybe I want to make out with maybe you? Maybe the chemistry would grow, but like no, probably not. It's not going to. Or like tequila makes it grow. Like I, that's, I don't know if that's a good thing. I, I, anyways, I agree. so within four minutes and I also, I used to be in sales. So like I would go on first dates all the time, right? Like you go out with someone, but like I, I was stuck on that date. Cause like I was trying to make money and all that. Fun stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fine. But I got really good at it, right? Yeah. Like I got good at like what questions to ask yes. it to move the date along. Totally. But so I remember being on this date and within like 32 seconds, he picked me up and I was like, I think I hate him. You know, really, we went to dinner. Do people, because you live in Chicago in a big city. Yeah. I, so, would people pick you up a lot, or was it no, more like I think there? Yeah, this guy I honestly don't know. Up. Like in theory, like cute. That was Which so sweet. We love a guy who's gonna pick you up, it, but like sure. it is like fuck more. Time but like together more time don't. together. Yeah, so I think yeah. I knew in the car ride to the Shoot. restaurant. Okay. Okay. I think I stopped doing pickups. I also because started doing. I also started doing. I remember at one point I was doing FaceTime screenings. I'm like, you told me to do this when I became single. Right. By the way, it's fucking genius because you will know immediately. You will know. Like, because someone can take hours to like write back on text, yep. but like, you know, right away, right? Anyone can be good on text. I'm like, let's FaceTime. I was, I also got catfish, but that's, that's for another day. Oh my day. God, that that's was such really, a story <laughs> too. Really okay, well, this one's not even a long one, but I remember this is the, the one snippet I remember. I talk so fast because I get so excited. So we went to dinner, we sit down and he orders for me. Okay, like. Wait, like a drink or food? Food. He, he orders for, talking to you? Doesn't, I'm like, do I have food allergies? Like, like in theory, I don't. Like I'm allergic to I'm gluten. allergic to, I'm allergic to, like that would be awesome actually. Um, Not really, but but he orders wow, dinner for both okay. of us. And like, again, like like some aggressive. people might like that, like a man like takes control, yeah, but like yeah. I was right away like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm eating, it was a, he ordered courses. Okay. Oh, you're like, Fuck. We're at an Italian restaurant that like definitely didn't need courses, but the first course was a pizza course and I was eating the piece of pizza. I can't even. And I see him do like, no one can see me doing this, but like he did like a wrap it up and like called the waiter, beckoned the waiter over. No. I was in the middle of my first piece no. and he's like, can we take this, to, can we wrap this up? What? Can we take this to go? And I'm no, like, Biggs. and he leans over and he goes, I just don't want you to get full. No! Stop! And I was like, oh, no. I think I was, I think Are I was you kidding? kidding? And, he, and he did. Oh my. <laughs> like he thought you were gonna go fuck him? I don't how I am now I remember being like I don't know what to do I'm like I'm a can I finish the piece I have what? like but he did it babe with every like course that we had he's no. like we'll take we'll take the rest of that and then truly then he had, then he drove me home and he like when I say to you like it was one of the worst dates I've oh, ever he been he wasn't on. like let's go leave no no he was like let's just wrap this up so yeah yeah, but like, I think he was like, I'm so confused. he didn't want me to get full. He didn't want me to eat. I don't know. I don't what know. What does this guy want? I don't know. <laughs> I am but, so But when I see you, like, this. I think I laughed in his face. I cried. I think I cried. I think I peed, peed my pants. It's fine. And, oh I, we, and then he drove me home. I'm like, I can Uber. Like, but then it's awkward. He drove I me know. there. What am yeah, I going to do? And he like leaned over to like kiss Ugh. me, closed his eyes. I remember. And I was like, no. no. And he did goes, you do like one of these? Yeah, I did like a hundred percent. And then he was like, see you this week. And I was like, no. And all I remember is that two weeks later, I think he also liked boys, which is fine. I went out with a he lot of, yeah, cool. it was totally fine. That's, we love that. Um, and he definitely- I think I've gone out with a couple of gay oh, guys too. So many gay guys. Yeah. And mm. I remember seeing like two, two, two and a half weeks later on Facebook, he had done like a photo shoot with his like shabby chic white couch with no shirt on and like two, two white dogs. And I was no. like, oh <laughs> my God. Guy. Like, and you met this guy on an app? Yeah. Support for today's episode comes from Jenny Kane. Perfect timing, honestly, because this season I was really ready to find a uniform that I'm completely obsessed with. Jenny Kane is a California brand through and through, and their staples make getting dressed easier than it's ever been before. Think minimalistic and effortless, but totally refined. All of my favorite words from luxurious cashmere sweaters and iconic accessories to elevated versions of all your everyday basics, not to mention the most incredible home essentials too. Jenny Kane is here to help you live your best year yet. And for a limited time, my listeners get 15% off their first order. Go to JennyKane.com and use the code HONEST to get 15% off. 
I've told you guys before, I live in my Jenny Kane sweaters. They are so cozy, but I also love them because you can dress them up or down. I'll wear mine just kind of lounging around the house, but then I can also throw it on with jeans and a great pair of booties for that just a little bit more elevated, nice look to go bop around town. In any season, but especially this one, their sweaters are the it item. You guys, I'm obsessed with the mohair boyfriend cardigan. It's the perfect everyday piece. Their loungewear is unmatched as well. I wear the merino sweatshirt and sweatpant on repeat in and out of the house. Find your new uniform at JennyKane.com. My listeners get 15% off your first order when you use code HONEST at checkout. That's 15% off your first order at J-E-N-N-I-K-A-Y-N-E dot com promo code HONEST. Let getting dressed be one less thing to worry about. You guys know on this podcast, I talk a lot about dating. And I think it's fair to say there have been some times where I haven't necessarily trusted my gut when it's come to some of these guys. Well, probiotics can't help with most of your gut decisions, but if your gut needs a little support, Ritual has your back. They made a three-in-one supplement with clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and a postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. Did you know daily disturbances like poor diet, stress, travel, the use of certain medications, and plenty of other factors can throw off your gut microbiome? Enter Ritual. I have been taking Ritual's Symbiotic Plus, and I cannot say enough good stuff about it. I love a probiotic, but the fact that this has prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics, I can just really tell a difference. I'm never bloated. I just, I'm regular, if you know what I mean. I just feel my best. They are rigorously tested and validated by a third party for allergens, microbes, and heavy metals. Ritual invested in a study modeling the human colon, which showed Symbiotic Plus significantly increased microbial diversity and the growth of beneficial bacteria. Ritual multivitamins are vegan, non-GMO project verified, gluten and major allergen free, certified B Corp and made traceable. There's no more shame in your gut game. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. Get 20% off your first month for a limited time at ritual.com slash be honest. Start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash be honest for 20% off. What was your worst? Well, I... Or like, what's one that you okay, remember? I have, I've got two that really stand out okay, in my fine, mind. I'm gonna give you, okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give one that I've actually said before. I said it on another podcast, but I haven't okay. actually said it on my podcast. So, okay. And you know, this story, I went out with an actor in LA and, um, enough said, <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> I'm They're all awful. Done. So we go to Laurel Hardware, which is a very busy restaurant, but this is what I did. I said, let's meet for a drink. I have a really early morning the next morning, which was true. I was hosting the Daily Pop on E, which I don't even think that show exists anymore. But so meet him for a drink. He is slamming drinks. Like, and I'm working the next morning. So I think I honestly had one, maybe two drinks, but we were there for so long. And then he was like, should we eat? And I'm like, I'm too fucking nice. So I was like, okay, yeah. But so he's hammered now. Okay. And he's telling me how he does his own stunts. He gets up in the middle of packed no. Laurel hardware no. and is acting out a stunt runs into the waitress. <laughs> and he's like, Oh, sorry about that. And I'm going Sit the Get me fuck out down. Of here. What are you doing? Babe. So same thing. Walked me in my car and I did the like, oh, it was so nice to meet you. Tried to kiss me and I like ducked the other way. But and then I couldn't get rid of him. He was like, I'll come visit you in Nashville. I'm like, well, no, that no, is no. A, that's the wildest. You're like, were you on the same date as me? That's what I don't understand. Were like, you, you on the same? You thought that was a good date. You thought I was into you, by the way, and you're the same way. Any date I'm on, I can easily keep the conversation going. Like I can talk to a fucking wall. Same. Like, it's easy. Correct. This was the only date I've been on where I was like, I can't even come up with something to say. Like, I don't care. And did and, it, like, okay, how thought, did we, and we've done some coaching on this. Cause like, I do believe <laughs> probably cause I've been on the other side of it. Like you have to also just be honest and be like, this was not good for me. I like, know. And I'm not good. At you're that. not great at that. But like, but I, I do, have to, I you've have, gotten so much better. I, I've definitely sent a text of like, Hey, I loved meeting you. I just didn't feel any chemistry. Totally. Blah, blah, which blah. I think is really, I, I do think it's important. My issue is I can do that after a first date, literally no problem. I've Later. run into trouble where it's like, it becomes too much. I've like committed to like going to like Santa Barbara or something with someone. And then I'm like, wait, I don't want to go. hundred percent that I would say that's a little bit of a you problem. Um, 100%. Not everyone like commits to like, so why, like 
like ready to go. We like, no I've idea. committed to like different states with people. And then, so I'm like very impulsive. And in the morning, in the morning, in the moment, I'll be like, yeah, that sounds fun. Like, fuck it, YOLO. And then I sit with it you wake and up. I'm like, oh no, I don't want to do that at all. It's a little hard to pull back when you've like committed to going on a trip. But, but I think we always would say like, treat people with respect, yeah. especially in dating. Cause it's literally the worst. And that's so what like, you would want in return. It's what I would want in return. Cause I've been on the flip side where I really liked a guy and yeah. like, and then they play games and like, and that's like, just fucking tell me, for games. don't string oh. me along. Also, I know. I think that's the other thing was that as you get older, you're like, <laughs> especially with these apps, like I was talking about what, like, I love Blair, one of my very best friends who you love. She was talking to me about the apps and she was like, the game has changed even more. Yeah. Like people now they're like going on and they're like, I'm on here and I want to date eight people at the same time. It's, well, I know because it's Cause, so easy now. There's so many people at your fingertips. And I feel like the apps are creating this environment where it's like, just keep looking and keep looking and you can talk to a million people at once. Totally. And it's like, it's like desensitizing us to what a relationship Correct. is. So like, right, being single, can be hard because also if you are wanting to find a partner, like going through what these apps put you through, it's like process. it's not fun. Or like if you live in like the country. Or if you live in butt fuck, my <laughs> options are limited. And like I was on Raya, I went on some great dates. Although my last one, I think I told you, gorgeous guy. It was a lunch date, which I've also never done a lunch date. Yeah, and that already, I was like, this is yeah. so dumb. I've like he, gotten tea before. Yeah, like what? Like, do you want he some talked crumpets? about himself. The whole time. Literally the entire time where like, I've been on other dates before and if someone, if a guy's talking a lot, he's like, well, okay, I'm done talking about me. Like, I wanna hear about you. This guy never did that. And I literally the was The whole like, time. The entire time it was, and he at least had a little awareness to text me and be like, sorry, I talk a lot. Like, you just gotta tell me to shut up, like blah, blah. And it's like, but that was like, that was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he does have an interesting life. Like, I'll give him that. His sure. stories were good, but like, what just happened? Totally. You're like, is this, but that's what I mean. Like, are people going on? Cause they like are bored and they need someone to talk to. Like, that's what I, I don't, don't understand. That's, that's, that is the hard part. It's like, you can go through all this, like I'm connected. I know what I want. Yeah. And then like, you have to find someone else who's like in the same know, energy field as you that wants the same shit. Like that's hard. It's, it is hard to meet someone. Right? I never like any, well, I like someone for 24 hours. Right. And you then either I'm like, like really like them and then you're like really over them or, but it, is, but truly it is hard to like, it's hard to meet someone. But, but as we're saying, like, it's okay that it's hard in theory because right. you're trying to do this. Cause you're I'm trying... waiting for the most amazing man on the planet. Totally. Like whoever I end up with is going to, it's going to, he's going to check all the boxes. There are like, I have deal breakers. There are very specific sure. things I'm looking for. And I think because when you settle and you ignore red flags, when you're 23 or however old you are, you make some, I don't want to say poor choices. It's just who I dated yes. previously, I would never date today. Well, also we as humans evolve, right. we grow, right. we change like, and that's, that's also okay. Which is why right. I say like, I do have friends that are like happy in their relationships and they met a long time ago. But I just think about like, we are humans that are and ho hopefully always evolving and right. always growing. And I think finding someone a little bit later. Mm -hmm. And my other thing, you know, I say this to you all the time is like, so the clock thing is real. Like I am pregnant. Like that is, that is yes. Biologically, I understand it gets harder as you get older for yep. sure. But I think about to try to lean mm -hmm. into the things that give you a little bit of that insurance or like take that time, that clock away or the pressure of like, I used to think about, it, I'm like, oh my God, I'm never going to find someone. But it was really, I'm never going to find someone by 40. Right. Like who decided that? Right. Like what happened? I, I didn't like, sh I don't sh like, crumple up and turn into a I pump. Know, like, I know. what I is in it? I think women are really like, I think we're in our prime. Totally. Like late thirties, forties. Like I stepped into my power later in life. Yeah, I was, exactly. I like, I knew, I knew what I liked, what I didn't like. I like, I, you're, you're totally right. Yeah. And you're this, like, I look at you now. And that's <laughs> been one of the coolest things too, about like our non-parallel past. <laughs> like we celebrate and support each other, but like you now, you are the, you are the happiest, the most connected. Nice. Like you are a badass. You've built bit. Like, but you, you're an you show up as amazing mom and amazing friend. Like, nice. like we were at twenty two. <laughs> Things were a little different. Like, I mean, we were <laughs> still great. Yeah, we, we, were, were awesome. we were awesome. We were awesome, but we were but we were we different. Were so, like, I just say, like, lean in and embrace that part of it. Yeah. And then, like, if you can afford to freeze your eggs, or yes. if you can, like, there are things out there that I think like clawed back for me, like the power and the control to be like, right. I don't have to settle because like, there's this like weird, like imaginary narrative script in my right. head. That's like, okay, you're almost, time is almost running out. Right. Because like, like a society side, like, what? cause then you're in a marriage, like in theory, like mm -hmm. I married David for forever, like ideally for forever. We, right. We, we hope. Yeah, we <laughs> hope. Um, but like he, he is my person. He's my forever, yeah. but I, 
I didn't settle and it, I'm not saying it's perfect and I'm not saying it's easy, yeah. but that's the thing. Life is hard. Totally. So like, I'm sorry. It, does it sound <laughs> fun to go through like things that are hard with someone that you don't like? Uh, exactly. That, like, that to me is wild. I agree. Right? I know. Well, yeah. And I mean, I can speak to like being in an unhappy marriage is one of the worst things on the planet. I can't, I can't imagine, imagine staying yeah. in that. Nope. Just how miserable you would be in your everyday life and everything you're doing, carrying that energy around is so difficult. I mean, you said it to me. My mom said it to me when I got a divorce. Everyone was like, "Holy shit, you're back to your old self. Your old self. You're bubbly. You're like your energy. Like yeah. Like I, I, there was a huge shift in me. My mom was like, I didn't even realize until like because right, when you're in it, you don't yeah. see. And it's but just yeah, it's crazy. I think that's actually like a little tangent, and then I'm done. I promise. But no, um, we love, but we love tangents. This. But I will say too, like we talked about relationship to self. Like we talked about not settling. The other thing is like surround yourself with friends who literally like can support and celebrate you on all your vignettes. Like, you okay. know that I believe in like, like I love, everyone has chapters, everyone has vignettes, but I think about how cool it is that like girls sort of suck a lot of times, right? Yeah, and yeah. like, they're not actually truly happy for you, but like right. finding women or females that like can, when I ask you how you are, like all I want is for you to be happy. It's yes. not like I'm like, tell me about the guys. No, like, literally. And also yeah. right now I'm vicariously living through your stories because yeah, the, the roles have yeah, the roles they, are reversed. totally yeah, reversed. Exactly. I'm like, what the fuck do I do with this child that I'm having? Like you'll, <laughs> right, you'll, you'll teach me, you, you can that. teach me, yeah. right? But I think it's one of the coolest things and like the most powerful thing to like another relationship that you have to nurture and that you have to lean in is like, celebrate if you have these relationships and friendships that like they're very important i agree and it like only helps catapult you to find that like partner too you are the best with that because you're like the one girlfriend in my life where it's like i you're actually like one of the only people i love telling all of this shit to because i never feel that judgment from you of like zero judgment what like when like you're like not worried about no, me you know? i'm like and you so, too you babe and yeah. i and like truly i love the details and i love getting to see you like experience it's part yeah. of your it's part of your journey it is this right is, like the first time in my life that i've dated and like your like, stories are stories. so fucking good <laughs> i've got some like, good one time the best is you brought david into them now like i'm like <laughs> dude do you know how lucky you are that you're like in the inner circle that you're the getting group chat and, and then updating the group chat and then my favorite thing like no one probably gives a fuck but like my husband only speaks in memes so like <laughs> you'll be like doing something and he's sending you like i know what is he what's his new one that you're a dragon oh, slayer the, um oh god no a fire like the a slut Dragon, slut dragon. Slut yeah, dragon. Yeah, slut dragon. Yeah, I want to find it. I'm, like, this is, I'm a slut dragon. Is that Every, what it is? Yeah, I'm a, a slut, slut, slut dragon. Slut dragon. And you know what, babe? You are a slut dragon. I'm a slut dragon right now. God <laughs> so damn it. I fucking am. Yeah, I, you know, Let it's me just, back up. That makes it sound like I'm sleeping <laughs> around a lot. I guess no. I literally didn't have sex for months. I listened to your podcast. You know, I'm like a super Thanks. fan. And I was dying at you and Justin talking about masturbating because remember when I told you about. <laughs> You're the babe, babe, I was but I was dying, you guys. Like, oh, wait, this is so I was great. somewhere. We were we were like in Florida, yes. and you're like, "What vibrator should I get?" And this newly single life, I'm like, "I newly need to single, up my sex But guys, game. I gave her like seven different options. She bought all seven. All of them. <laughs> I have them all. You're like, I have but the way, travel one. I, I have, have okay. I have a travel one. I have. I think three in Nashville and two in LA. Like, babe, who needs? Like, I mean, I they're love you. I, they're yeah, all they're different. all different. They're all different yeah. men. Mm -hmm. They're all. They really are. I'm a slut dragon. Like, 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 I travel one. I'm like, oh, I've missed you. 100%. I haven't traveled in a hundred percent. But like, literally, I remember like I asked you, I was like, did you end up buying like, you know, this one? And one that, I'm like, you know, did you get one? for you yeah, the clit, the clit one. one? You're like, you're like, yeah, I bought the clit one. And the eight others that you told me about, I'm, I'm like, like sweating. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I have to go up my game. Like, I, I recommend that one, by the way. I mean, babe. I'm gonna make a sex toy. You should, oh, you should 100. <laughs> and you know, like, Foria is like my favorite in the entire world. I'm like, I still need to get that. Do you have it? I haven't gotten it yet. Oh my god! But it's because you got eight. It's because of the I toys. Have eight. You toys. should make it. You absolutely should make a toy. I, need to, I know. Yeah, that's your list of things to do. I will. Yeah. An uncommon vibrator. And ooh, mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we always come up with the best ideas I'm while we're together. Dying. I'm also sweating. Is because I'm of literally <laughs> sweating now that everyone knows I have eight. Fucking yeah, vibrators. it's fine. But like you know, <laughs> that's cool. Like we always say, you do you, boo, Damn and right. whatever, what, in my truth. whatever you are living in your truth. I'm living my truth. Yeah, you saved my masturbating game. You're welcome. So I appreciate your. You're for that. so welcome. I'm You're so. It's one of my most. <laughs> 
proud moment for you. I, as we said, friend, we got to find a friend who like supports you through it's all true. of your stages. This and one true. of them was your masturbating stage. And that I, sounds like you're still in. I'm still there. <laughs> Appreciate you. Anytime. Oh my God. How did we get here? I don't know. We always, I always take these you, And tours. you always end, I feel like, with masturbating. I know. Why is this okay, the new let's, podcast? Let's end something. Let's end somewhere different. Okay, self love. Yeah, you're right. No, but okay. Let's, I think, okay, let's flip the narrative to be. If you're single, it's a good fucking thing. Good for you because you're not settling. And 100%. you're gonna take your time and you're working on yourself. And when the right one is supposed to come, he they will. And if for everyone else around you in your life, like celebrate, support that. And like, don't ask. Don't, like, yeah, don't ask. Let don't, them bring it up. Don't ask. Yeah. Or like ask, like, are you good? Or how can I, like, Yes. what can I do for you? Yes, are you <laughs> like, happy? Are you happy? Like, Have you been having any fun? Yeah. Maybe that's a better Ooh, question. Who, I like that. Who are the latest boys? Because they probably go hand in hand. So they, if right. I want to tell you about a boy, I will. If you want to like ask a leading question, <laughs> like maybe this is the better way to do it. But like, yeah. just truly like maybe someone is actually okay being alone and make sure make sure they're good being alone. Exactly. Not everyone is dying to be in a relationship. So. And otherwise we're going to start turning mm -hmm. around and saying, why did you settle? Damn That's, right, we're yeah, gonna we throw, we're gonna throw back. You're probably married with a baby on the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna turn around because yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start throwing babe, it back. You in bring your face. me on dates. It's like not like that. Like I, I actually am mad you haven't brought me on a date in a while. It's fine. I uh, finally have. Well, I'm not even gonna go there. Okay. Well, I finally have oh. someone I can take you on a date with. Let me just pump okay. The yeah, yeah. I'm in love today. Okay, today. We'll see what happens. Let's in talk a week. in 24 to 48 yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, listen. I love you. I love you so much. Women think you are so inspiring, and for good reason because you are. Appreciate you being here and we're so happy to be you. continued to be continued and we'll we'll keep you posted on when um uncommon what do we call it vibrator uncommon yeah vibrator. Uncommon, uncommon vibe we'll come up with the yeah we'll come up with yeah. right now but it's uh, wait it's coming yeah it's coming <laughs> it's gonna be the it's best vibrator it's on coming. the market it's coming you're welcome <laughs> that's, the, that's the tagline it's coming <laughs> i love you so much i love you can so we do this much. again yes <laughs> okay